Since every phone manufacturer is now ditching the audio jack, it seems going wireless is definitely the future. But with so many choices out there, what is the perfect true wireless earbuds for an active lifestyle user? And I think I might have found them. These are the Jabra Elite Active 65T. A bit of a mouthful, I know. They retail for $189 US. And already at that price point, this isn't cheap. Especially now since you can find flagship true wireless earbuds selling around $150. Now, I reviewed multiple different wireless earbuds like these in the past on some of my past videos, and no matter what, I would still somehow go back to the AirPods. This might just be because I'm pretty sure other people could agree, AirPods are just more convenient. They're simple to use, you simply just open up the case, take it out, put it in your ear, and if someone talks to you, remove it, it'll pause the music or whatever you're listening to, and you place it back in, it'll resume that. As simple as that. But I think these are going to be the game changer of all that, since they pretty much share all the same features as the AirPods, and they give you some extra ones. These features aren't excluded to an OS unlike the AirPods. The exterior of these things have a nice, soft touch matte texture that feels very premium, and when placed on, they blend in very well, unlike the AirPods. These give out a very low key, almost like a l spy look. And just like the AirPods, these also have the pause and play feature whenever you take one out of your ear and when you place it back in, it will resume to whatever you were listening to. The traveling case is extremely portable and a side by side comparison shows how easy it is to travel with. Now in the box, they really don't include much. Just that Kato charging case, the earbuds, a micro USB cable, and different size gel fitting. And that's pretty much it. But when pairing the device for the first time, the process was extremely easy. As soon as you take one out of the box, it was as simple as going to your Bluetooth, tapping the device, and that's it. So people who are non-tech savvy shouldn't have any issues pairing them up. I'm talking to you, Grandpa. Once paired, it will actually prompt you to download the app for you to unlock its full capabilities. So a quick app overview. The application on this thing actually allows you to do a lot of things that I wasn't expecting to find because not only are you able to use your cell phone's default voice assist, but you also have the choice, the option to actually have Alexa to be the voice assist for the earbuds. So this is very useful for those who have Alexa in their household and wish to sync up all their devices with their data and stuff like that. And is activated by simply holding down on the right side earbud and your voice assist will pop up depending on which one you select. And on the left hand side, that will be where your volume controls are. So you have both up and down on the left side, which is kind of cool. Not too many Bluetooth wireless earbuds have this feature. But back to its companion app. It has a feature called hear through mode, where it utilizes the four microphone that each earbud has individually to allow the outside sound to be mixed with whatever audio that you're listening to. This is perfect for if you're an outdoor runner, for example, running it on the street, you're able to hear your surroundings of traffic drive by while still enjoying your music. You can actually go in in deeper settings to actually adjust the certain sound you want to allow in. That's really nifty. And you can simply activate this by either going in the app or double pressing on the right side of your bud and this will enable this mode as well as disable it. And there's a couple other goodies that this app is capable of doing. Similar to like the Jaybirds, these two have an EQ settings where you're able to adjust to change vary on what kind of genre you're listening to. To be honest, from my experience, if you do it manually, you're able to make any genre sound sound fantastic. And this is actually really cool that allows you to fully go in depth and customize even more. So I like that. Another thing that this thing has is focus mode. Focus mode is kind of an odd one. It plays white noise or ocean sound or any kind of ambient noise that will allow you to stay focused. This is really great if you're in a public area and you're, let's say you're doing research on something or you just, you just want the outside to be zoned out. It also has active mode. Active mode is great for those who don't carry around a fitness tracker like a smartwatch or a Fitbit, for example. What this thing does, it doesn't calculate calories, but it does tally up all the steps you've taken while wearing the earbuds. So if you're into tracking your steps, this thing will get the job done for you. And now if we go in deeper, there's also phone call settings. 
where you're able to make the headphones announce caller ID and you can also have the, you also get the option to hear yourself when having a phone call. And for headphones that have four microphones, the audio quality is actually really good. And to give you a microphone quality example, I have them both on and if you notice, they're both stereo. And when you're having your phone calls, you'll hear the other person on the other end on both the right and left earbud. But unfortunately, it's only the right that has to be placed in. You can't have your conversation with only the left one on. That's something you keep in mind. So this is okay, it'll end the call. So this is like the closest thing to the AirPods. And the microphone quality on these phone calls, you guys could be the judge. But to me, they sound good. And I never encountered an issue where the other person on the other end had a hard time understanding me. And even outdoors, it does a really great job. With all that being said, how well do they stay in place? During my workout, my activities, they manage to remain in place most of the time. But ever so often, I will need to readjust them. Not constantly, but occasionally. I'll say like about 30 minutes or so. But of course, your experience may vary since everybody's ear canal, of course, is different than one another. But they do fit comfortably. I could definitely ensure you that. Even though they don't have ear wings, they haven't yet fell off from me. So this is a bliss. Now saying all that, I think it's now time to talk about all the nitty gritty stuff. So a single charge for each of these earbuds will last you about five hours and from my experience even with the sound through enabled i'm able to achieve yeah close to five hours i'll say like a little bit more than four and a half hours but about there and then including the traveling cable this thing is able to charge these earbuds at least two times so giving us a total of about 15 hours of audio playback time and they also support fast charging so if you leave these in for 15 minutes or so you should be able to listen to audio for about an hour or so and the sound quality that these earbuds give out are incredible. No matter what genre you're listening to, if you tinkle with the equalizer, you should be able to find the best setting for your tastes. They sound really strong on the low ends and excellent on the mid ends with great deep bass control. So these earbuds connect via Bluetooth 5.0 and range wise, I say I'm able to get up to 100 feet. I haven't yet experienced any cut interference like bodies, walls, in between my phone and my headphones, they don't randomly cut out. And when it comes to watching videos, there's no lag. Unlike some high-end premium priced earbuds, these ones don't have that. So with all that being said, you might by now think that these earbuds are perfect, right? Uh, not exactly. This review wouldn't be complete if I talk about its negatives. Starting with the traveling cable, this thing I don't know why this thing's a pain about to open. There's this little lid cut out that you're able to put your fingernail in there. That still doesn't work. You have to apply a lot of force in order for them to open. Maybe over time, over wear and tear, this might become easier, but for right now, it's a, it's a hassle just to open this thing up. And to make it even worse, the earbuds are not magnetically held together, like the AirPods are, for example. There's times when I'm having such a hard time opening up this case and if I open it up incorrectly, the earbuds will fall off like so. And it's kind of odd placing them back because there isn't really a, a guide method to help guide these things back in place. There's times when if I just don't pay attention, I fear that if I close it incorrectly, I may cause some damage in the future. So you gotta be cautious when closing the lid. But other than that, those are the only major cons I really want to discuss about. The earbuds are really well engineered and thought out. The traveling cable on the other hand, that needs some work. Hopefully the next generation should solve all this. But overall, I think these earbuds are definitely gonna replace my AirPods now for my workouts. They share very similar functionalities and they're more feature packed. And if you're an Android user, I'll definitely recommend picking these things up. This is like the best alternative for the AirPods. And another thing I really love about these things, since these are actually water and dust resistant, with the AirPods, whenever I'm training and I'm actually really sweaty, I always have to take one out and wipe it down just to be safe. With these, you don't have to do that. And the charging cable is appropriately sized, makes fitting in any size pocket really convenient. So traveling with these things isn't an issue. And let's be real, compared to these earbuds, these aren't really a stylish look. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing, wanna help support the channel, make sure you use our affiliate link in the video description down below. It doesn't cost you anything. It just gives Amazon us a small kickback. 
and really helps out the channel for improving our future content. So I really appreciate if you guys could do that as well as like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.